Today on Ridge Roamer, the new Indian Scout Rogue and why it's the best version yet. So Indian put out specs and information on the new Indian Scout Rogue. It is a Scout Rogue, not a Bobber Rogue. And that's one interesting differentiation because as you look at it, um, it's definitely based off of the Scout Bobber, not necessarily the Scout. And the main reason I say that is because of the fenders and the rear subframe. However, they've made a bunch of other changes that definitely make it its own bike. So we're going to go over the top five reasons why I think it's the best Scout version to date. For today's purposes, we're going to go over the 100 horsepower version, just the standard Scout Rogue. Um, but just like the all versions of the Scout 60, you've got very minor differences, uh, the main one being the engine. So we'll just dig into the 69 cubic inch version. That 69 cubic inch Scout engine makes 100 horsepower stock and 72 pound foot of torque. It's liquid cooled, has the six speed transmission. It's about everything you can ask for in a power plant of a performance cruiser. Very low seat height, sits at 25.6 inches, which is very accessible for just about anyone, no matter how tall you are. Uh, reasonable weight for a compact or mid-sized cruiser. It's sitting at 525 pounds uh, before you fill it with gas. So very easy to manage weight wise, especially with how low that center of gravity is. Now looking specifically at this version, the reason I say there's five things that really set it apart as the best version comes down to comfort and performance. They're all geared towards that. Gets a little bit of style thrown in there too. So uh, the first thing that's very unique about this bike when you first look at it is the wheel and tire combination. Now the rear wheel stays the same as all the other versions of the Scouts, a 16 inch rear wheel, three and a half inches wide. The front is the obvious difference with the change from 16 by three and a half to a 19 by three and a half. So that taller tire is definitely something that is a style difference, but it's also a performance difference. So the larger the diameter of the tire, just like in off-road scenarios, the easier it's going to roll over obstacles and road imperfections. And it's also, um, with that little bit different profile, you get a faster turn in into your curves, into your corners. So it will be better performing. Uh, it's a style preference whether you like that short fat front tire that the all the other versions of the Scout have or whether you're going to like this taller. Um, it's actu actually not any skinnier, um, but just because it's taller, it overall uh, looks skinnier. Now the other thing of note here is that they changed the tires. The Rogue is using the Metzler Cruise Tech. That is the same tire that's being used on the larger bikes and was specifically introduced into the Indian lineup on the Challenger. Now we all know the Challenger was designed to be Indian's performance bagger. That Metzler Cruise Tech is a performance cruiser tire. So the rubber going on this Indian Scout Rogue is also going to give you advantage when you hit the streets and give you better grip and better cornering characteristics. Next on my list, uh, getting into the comfort is going to be the seat. Now I love the style of the Indian Scout Bobber. The thing that always got me was the profile of the seat. It is horrendously uncomfortable. The Syndicate Solo Sport Seat that comes standard has a much better shape to it, um, which appears like it's going to be a whole lot more comfortable. Looking forward to sitting in it. Um, but it also has, more importantly, that rear lip. So where the under heavy acceleration on the standard Scout Bobber, I always felt like that flat seat, I was just sort of sliding off the back. This new one should lock you in a little bit better and definitely give you um, a more comfortable feel and more secure feel under heavy acceleration. The next thing that uh, I think is a definite advantage of this bike is the bars. So the standard Scout runs a traditional cruiser shape bar, 
very comfortable. When you go to the bobber, you get the real cool look of those flatter bars, but not much rise, not much pullback. It is definitely not very comfortable. So of the bobbers, I always preferred the 10 inch mini apes that come on the bobber 20. And this new version, the Scout Rogue, comes with those same 10 inch mini apes. So in combination with that seat, you're now gonna get a more upright seating position and it should provide a much more comfortable overall ergonomics. Fourth is the new fairing. While the Scout Bobber has a little cowl over the headlight, it provided no actual wind protection. It was just for looks. And then the standard Scout has the optional windshields that you could attach. Don't do a whole lot for the looks of the bike though. So this new Rogue has a mini fairing on it that I think looks pretty cool and is also gonna give some mild amount of wind protection that will definitely help take the pressure off of your chest as you're riding should allow for longer distances and more comfort in cooler temperatures. Final thing, um, which I think is probably the most minor, um, but overall adds to the package, is that Indian finally finished blacking out the bike. They went 90% of the way on the bobber, but there were a lot of things left that were still chrome or an aluminum look. New Scout Rogue adds even more blacked out components to give it an absolutely amazing look. Now those are the five reasons why I think this is the best Scout ever. I look forward to being able to ride it and I'll definitely do another video as soon as I get some seat time. But I also wanted to hit on a few things where honestly I think Indian fell short a little bit um, and things that they should do in the future to the Scout lineup, things that I would like to see. First thing on the list, dual disc brakes on the front. A single disc is adequate on the Scout, but dual discs would just put that performance over the top. Um, and I would love to see that. I wish they'd have done that in conjunction with the new 19 inch front wheel, but not my decision. Next, bigger fuel tank. 3.3 gallons is sufficient for running around town, but as you start going longer distances or you wanna spend all day riding with your friends, if we get up, you know, four gallons or a little over four gallons, I think that would be absolutely amazing. There's one thing where Indian leaves you at a bit of a disadvantage with that 3.3 gallon tank. You're really not going to get much more than 100 miles before you need to stop and fill up. So uh, I would like to see a bigger fuel tank. Next, the Rogue is based on the Bobber. However, with it being more comfortable, having the wind protection, I see a lot of people taking this as that, you know, kind of bad looking blacked out bobber that now they can go further distances on. So I would love to see some better saddlebag options that use the bobber and rogue rear subframe and have the capability to get a bit more storage capacity than we currently have. And finally, with the introduction of the Chief and the four inch round touchscreen ride command system, Please bring that to the Scout lineup. I know anybody would uh, be happy to pay a premium to get that amazing capability on the Scout. And I would love to see that 4-inch ride command get transferred over to the Scout platform in some capacity. So I hope uh, that was a little bit of insight for you guys to give you some information on this new Scout Rogue. And let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see added or things that I missed on the bike that Indian also improved to make this the best version yet. If you're riding a standard Scout or a Scout Bobber at the moment, are there enough changes to make you want to switch? Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a great day.